Welcome back fellow web creators and entrepreneurs. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to recover a timeline sequence which you've accidentally closed in Adobe Premiere. <laughs> to kick things off, I have a sequence of clips already open on my timeline and I'm going to close it. To reopen the closed timeline, pop over to the project panel. Here you'll see an item in the list with an icon resembling a pole with road signs or more accurately, a timeline with clips on it. This is your sequence. In my case, it's called Example Sequence 1. Simply double click that item to reopen it on your timeline. Okay, that works, but let's say you're missing the timeline panel altogether and don't have any sequences in your project panel to restore it. To restore the timeline panel, go up to Window and at the bottom of the menu, select Timeline. Great, now your timeline is back and you're free to drag any media onto it. But what if you lost a timeline sequence file with a whole bunch of important work inside it? In this example, I lost a timeline sequence called Example Sequence 2. To get it back, let's go up to File, then Import. Navigate to your project folder where you save your Premiere files. In here you should see an Adobe Premiere Pro autosave folder. Click the folder and you'll find multiple autosaved copies of your Premiere project spanning various dates and times. I can see the live file at the top and four historical versions of my project file below. Going by the date and times listed in the date modified column, choose an older autosave file which you think is most likely to contain the missing timeline sequence you're after. In the pop-up window, select import selected sequences because you're only looking for a sequence file in this case. If you lost an image or a video, then just import the entire project. Once it loads, you should see all the timeline sequences in that project file, including your missing one. If you don't see it, try importing an older autosave until you find it. Now select it and hit OK. With your missing sequence back in the project panel, you can then re-add it to your timeline. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you learned something new. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you again soon. <laughs>